Have you ever felt like quitting? Because this week, I nearly did. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of losing my mind. This is week eight of making a full-length animated movie inside of Blender. Let's go. The goal is to pre two pages of the script every single day this week. I have no idea if this is even possible. I just clocked in the 20 minutes and literally got nothing done. I don't know, right now I, I'm really trying to get stuff done. It's, honestly, it's really overwhelming. I gotta go do some housework right now. Good evening. <laughs> I started to get some good work done, but now it's time for bed, so <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Howdy. Basically trying to figure out how to properly implement the 180 rule. Okay, so imagine there's two characters here. Boom. One's looking here. Boom. I'm looking there. You never want to put the camera on the... So the camera's here. You never want to put the camera on this side. Because when you cut that together, the people are going to be on the wrong side of the screen. You could try it sometime. If you don't believe me, look it up. It's a thing. It makes it so that when you're cutting all the footage together, you don't have a complete bonfire on your hands. <laughs> you can break the rule, but... You want to break it for a reason. You don't just want to be lazy. I think Oswald also understands, right Oswald? <laughs> yes. I need to redo a lot of the scene for what I already got done, so it's kind of going to set me back a little bit. Things, things are just not lining up. I'm asking some of my friends whether they think the shots I have and the way they are cut right now breaks the 180 rule. My good friend Andrew from the Didactic Productions has gotten back to me. I'm not sure why I'm talking like that, but uh, basically, yeah, I, I messed up the 180 rule. <laughs> Uh, I'm crying right now. Inside, I'm very much crying. There's two things I could do. Work on the scene for, or work on the next scene. What is up, people? Just joking. <laughs> I'm gonna work on the next scene because I'm done with scene four. As in, done. Like, I, I'm, I'm tired of working on scene four. Guys, scene five is super short. Basically, the main character, Betty, gets in a truck. She's like, oh, how do you know when something's worth it? And she's like, ah, oh, this is a time when I'd love to have a horse. And she turns the truck on, and she drives. So let's do that. So I just drew out my little little sketch in Blender, what I kind of want, and it's very hard to understand, but this actually worked really well. And now I have my 180 line. So the camera is always going to be over here. Whether you can understand that or not, it's really helpful for me. So let's go. Balance time. I got some good work done. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Uh, scene five is done. Oh wait, no, I just remembered. I forgot to record the dialogue, but I cut up the scene, put it into the editor, and I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Fortunately, I'm feeling like I might be getting sick a little bit. I'm just leaving my throat and just uh, don't quite feel 100%. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy the journey. Thankfully, scene number six is really short. What took a while was sort of blocking out Spud's house and his landscape, and I'm really happy I'm doing this previous right now. <laughs> it's giving me a way to experiment with how whole sets are going to be set up without committing to making a model in any detail. It's really helpful. It's very easy to feel burnt out on a big project like this. There's a lot of things happening to me <laughs> just in real life. School is one massive behemoth of its own. This movie is its own thing. What I'm trying to say is sometimes it's hard to just keep going. I forget myself so, so, so often that it's all about this journey. I could be stressing out over a million things, but basically the idea is only worry about the things that I can have under my control. And yes, is anything actually under my control? Absolutely not. But um, the things that are relatively in my control, for example, oh, will I work on school right now? Will I not work on school right now and watch YouTube videos? <laughs> or will I make a movie? <sighs> I'm really stressed out right now, I have to admit. I just finished working, guys, on the scene number seven previous. I finished it. I'm very happy with it. I, I, I recorded some lines, guys. I slapped that into the video editor. And now I have several scenes previous. This week has been kind of a rough one. I don't feel like I got much done. At least when I was modeling things, you know, I was like, oh, I modeled this new thing or this new thing. It was more tangible. This is a lot more monotonous in a weird way. But it's also rewarding. You win some, you lose some, guys. You win some, you lose some. Anyways, time spent on the production of this movie, Betty Fleetfoot. Six hours, 14 minutes, and 50 seconds. Not ideal, but uh, just a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> Just, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video somehow. I don't know. I feel like a complete bum right now. You know, I feel like I got nothing done this weekend. I don't need to look up at the mountain. I need to look and enjoy the road I'm on. 
I'm never gonna get to the top of the mountain. I will see you guys in next week's video. I'm just trying to enjoy this journey. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support so far. It is so meaningful to me. It really is. So let's go. Bye bye. Click, click, click next week's video right there.